Hello and welcome to another exciting class on exam party. Our topic today is data presentation and in this lesson we will analyze how to determine mean, median and more. Data presentation involves organizing and displaying data in a meaningful and understandable way to facilitate the analysis, interpretation and communication of information. It is important to note that the median cannot be taught without uncovering the mode and mean. How do we determine the mean of a given set of data? The mean, sometimes called the arithmetic mean, is the most common average. If there are n numbers in a set, then mean equals sum of numbers in a set divided by n. When the set of data is tabulated, we use the formula summation fx over summation f. That is, the summation of the frequency and the numbers divided by the summation of the frequency. Let's take a look at a few examples. Example 1. In a class test, a student adds the following marks. 13, 17, 18, 8, and 10. What is the average mark? Solution. Average, also known as mean, equals sum of numbers in a set divided by n. And this equals 13 plus 17 plus 18 plus 8 plus 10 divided by 5. The sum of all the numbers gives 66 divided by 5. 5 and 66 equals 13.2. So we can say the average of the set of number is 13.2. Example 2. A hockey team has played 8 games and has a mean score of 3.5 goals per game. How many goals has the team scored? Solution. Mean score equals number of goals divided by number of games. 3.5 equals number of goals divided by 8. Multiplying both sides by 8. 3.5 multiplied by 8 equals total number of goals. Therefore, 28 equals total number of goals. So we can say the total number of goals the team has scored is 28. The next method of data presentation we'll be looking at is the median. Median simply refers to the middle item when the set of data is arranged in the right order. If the number of an item is odd, the median will be a single item, and if they are even, two items will fall in the middle. In such a case, the sum of two items is obtained and divided by two. Example 1. Find the median of these numbers. 13, 15, 14, 12, 13, 15, 16, 10, 12, and 14. Solution. Arrange the numbers in order of magnitude, starting with the smallest value. Add the two middle numbers and divide the result by 2. Let's take a look at the chart. In the chart, we have 10, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16. That is arrangement in ascending order. The middle numbers or the middle values are 13 and 14. Remember the definition of median. And when you have two different numbers, what you are expected to do is add the two numbers and divide them by two. So we have 13 plus 14 divided by two. 13 plus 14 gives 27 divided by 2. 27 divided by 2, that gives us 13.5. So we can say the median of the above numbers is 13.5. Example 2. Find the median of 8.4, 7.8, 6.2, 13.4, 12.6, and 10.5. Solution. Arrange the set of numbers in order of size, that is, from the smallest to the highest. 
and 13.4. There are six numbers. The median is the mean of the third and fourth number. That is, median equals 8.4 plus 10.5 divided by 2. The sum of the two numerators gives 18.9 divided by 2, and that gives us 9.45. And the last method of data presentation is more. Mode is defined as the most frequent score in a dataset, representing the highest bar in a bar chart or histogram. Therefore, the mode is sometimes regarded as being the most popular option. This image is an example of the mode. Let's take a look at a few examples. Example 1. Find the mode of the numbers 6, 6, 8, 9, 9, 9 and 10. Solution. The most occurred item is 9. Hence, the mode is 9. Example 2. This chart shows the different means by which students of ABC school come to school. Find the modal means of transportation. It is clear from this chart that the most common form of transport in this particular data set is the bus because it has the highest frequency or it occurs the most. However, one of the problems with the mode is that it is not unique. So when a set of data has two most occurring items, we pick both items. You have come to the end of today's lesson. Here are a few questions to evaluate yourself. One, find the median of the following set of data. 2. From this table, find the following. A. Number of girls in the choir. B. Modal and median ages of the choir. And C. Mean age of the choir. 3. This table shows the marks of students in a mathematics test. Find A. Number of students who took part in the test. B. Number of students who scored at most 6. C. Median mark. D. Modal mark. Thank you for learning about data presentation with me. I believe I've impacted you in this lesson. See you in our next video. Keep learning. Bye.